I honestly didn't see this coming. A new study has found that the universe might be spinning. What does that even mean? Let's have a look. Many galaxies like our own Milky Way have a spiral shape with arms winding around a central bulge. These spirals form because the galaxies rotate and the arms trail behind. Astronomers like to study these spiral galaxies because their distinct structure can tell us something about the overall formation of structures in the universe and about the influence of dark matter on those structures. At least that's what they say. I think they just study spiral galaxies because they're pretty. Be that as it may, the first galaxies in our universe are particularly interesting because for them we know how old they are. They can't have formed before the Big Bang. One of the missions of the James Webb Space Telescope was to look for those early galaxies that began to form a few hundred million years past the Big Bang. One of the surprises that the data from the Webb Telescope delivered is that galaxies grow and develop structures much faster than the dark matter hypothesis predicted. It was a prediction of modified Newtonian dynamics instead, as we just talked about a few weeks ago. But this new finding? No one predicted this. For the new study, researchers zoomed in on 263 of these ancient galaxies to figure out which way they were spinning. They found something astonishing. About two-thirds of the galaxies are rotating in the opposite direction as our Milky Way. Those are marked in blue. And only a third rotate in the same direction as the Milky Way. Those are marked in red. That's wild. It really shouldn't happen. Even Albert is shocked. You see, the reason that most galaxies spin is that they form from matter whose density increases because gravity pulls it together. And that matter isn't just sitting still, it's moving around. This makes it very unlikely. It has no angular momentum. And angular momentum is conserved. And so, much like for a figure skater, if the matter gets denser, its rotation speeds up. But since this process is entirely a result of the random motion of the initial matter, you expect galaxies to spin in each direction with the same probability. So what's going on here? Well, one possibility is that the result is just wrong. That, however, seems very unlikely to me. First of all, it's a pretty big anomaly. It's not even close to 50-50. But more importantly, this was actually already seen in earlier studies for older galaxies. It's just that for those, the asymmetry was much smaller, so no one took it really seriously. If one assembles all this data together, it looks like the asymmetry was larger in the early universe. There's also the possibility that this observation has something to do with us rather than with the galaxy. That is, maybe it's for some reason easier to observe galaxies that spin one way rather than the other. But there's no good explanation for that. And again, that other measurements with different instruments found similar things makes that somewhat implausible. If you've already forgotten half of what I said, this video comes with a quiz that lets you check how much you remember. Then what could explain it? The most straightforward possibility is that the matter in the early universe had itself a spin on very large scales. The entire universe had a spin, basically. And that has affected the likelihood of smaller systems to spin one way or another, thereby taking up some of the overall spin. Another possibility is that we misunderstood something about the plasma that formed in the early universe. Indeed, one of the theories which could give rise to such correlations is that of a fractal universe. The idea of the fractal universe is that the quantum fluctuations that gave rise to the motions of the plasma in the early universe had a self-similarity, a pattern that repeats from very large to very small scales. As an example, look at the Julia set, one of the best studied fractals. It's full of spirals and they all turn the same way. If the plasma in the universe had such a fractal pattern, that could also explain why we observe too many large supergalactic structures that violate the cosmological principle. I'll admit that this surprised me. This is why I like doing science news. You never know what's the next story that the universe will spin. 
Did you know there's a free and easy way to learn more about the science behind all the videos that you've been watching? Yes, there is. Have a look at Brilliant. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. What you see here is from their data science courses, which they just released. They all use real-world examples, like what it means to go viral on X. Brilliant covers a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses on algebra or large language models, just what I'm interested in. And they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. Sounds good. I hope it does. You can try Brilliant yourself for free if you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabina or scan the QR code. That way you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days and you get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and give it a try. I'm sure you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.